Hi guys, William Morris here, and today I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to use uh, Isotope RX Connect with uh, Cubase. So the Connect feature of Isotope RX basically lets you uh, send a file out from Cubase for processing within Isotope RX and then to return it back into your project window. Uh, so this is a much quicker workflow than the traditional, you know, export a file, get it cleaned up and send it back again. So I'm just going to run you through how to use the Connect feature. I have a uh, guitar passage that I've recorded earlier uh, and the issue with it is that there's a bit of uh, ground loop noise and also some kind of white noise from the, the heavy distortion that was used. Uh, so we're just going to send this out to Isotope RX, get it cleaned up and get it sent back into Cubase. Okay, so I actually have a little shortcut for this on my controller, but I'm going to give you the, the long form version. So let's listen to the, the file first. So as you can hear at the start here, we've got lots of little electronic bleeps and ground loop things and uh, some general kind of background noise as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is just click and select the file. Then we're going to go up to audio and plugins. Uh, this is my kind of normal list here of uh, plugins that I've already organized. So under mine, it's under restoration. And I, what you're looking for is Isotope R4, RX4 Connect or whatever version of RX you have. And it should come up then with this dialog here. This is the Connect dialog. Uh, we're already on repair, which is what we want to do. And then process will send it out to Isotope RX. So that's just loading up now. And here we get the same clip that we've got in Cubase, but now we're in RX4. I'm just going to have a listen to it. So we can see a lot of the, the problem areas already, these little uh, spikes and blips over on this side. So I'm not going to go through you know, the full sort of cleaning things in RX because that will be uh, elsewhere in another tutorial. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to show you how to do a quick clean up on this. So I'm going to use the uh, time and frequency tool. I'm going to select this area, go into denoise. I'm going to get it to learn this section. Uh, put it on the best algorithm for now. Just doing this quickly, just to give you guys an idea. Uh, so then we'll process that. So that's cleaned up. That area, I'm just going to take a listen. So, as you can hear, much cleaner than before. We've still got all these little electronic blips in here. I'm just going to show you how to take out maybe this big one using uh, spectral repair. And let's just attenuate it for now, which basically will just select the the area that you've got going and uh, reduce it by a certain amount. So I'm just going to reduce it by a tiny bit. Set the before and after weighting to either side. Process it. And that blip should now be gone. So we've still got a little bit of it there, but I mean, this would normally take a, you know, a good few minutes to, to go in and, and clean up properly. Uh, so now we've basically got our our file done and cleaned. All you need to do is click on send back and it will say waiting for RX Connect. So we go back into Cubase and then you will need to go to plugins again, down to uh, mine's under restoration, RX4 Connect, and it will give you an option to press process to commit the changes that you've made. So we're just going to do that. And as you can see, when the file came in there, this initial section there, the waveforms changed. So we know that's uh, that's been processed and it's gone through. So now everything that we've done in RX4 uh, will also be, a, be, a, be a done in Cubase as well. So there we go, guys. 
So this is a great way of being able to clean things up in something as powerful as Rx and send them straight back into Cubase with uh, minimal sort of hassle of exporting and importing files. It's even quicker if you can create a, a macro or a shortcut for selecting the, the plugin as it comes up rather than having to go through the, the audio and plugins menu. I've actually got one mapped to a, a Lima controller in front of me, so it's just one button push. And uh, as long as you have the file selected, you get it coming up straight away. So it's a really, really fast workflow there. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And if there's any other videos that you'd like me to do, uh, just let me know.